Hello Brothermans, if you're looking to ball on a budget, you have come to the right place. Today I have three builds for you, once again in no particular order, but I promise you all of them are good enough to send your opposition back to the lobby. Most of the attachments are available from level 2 traders, with a few exceptions, which can still be bought from the flea market for around the same price. Also, feel free to switch things up and use other attachments that you have either unlocked or have found in raid. But that being said, let's get to the first build. If you're looking for something quick and easy to build that completely shreds the competition, then the SR2M is exactly what you need. You can build an absolute laser for around 80,000 rubles, perfect for either money runs or destroying some gamers in a CQB situation. Fortunately, building a gun is very, very simple. You can get yourself an SR2M for around 35,000 rubles on the flea market. Prepper level 3 does sell it as well, but for 53,000 rubles. So we're going to save ourselves around 20,000 rubles just by buying it from the flea market. But from here, we're going to add the 30 round magazine for 3,815 rubles. Also comes from Prepper level 3, but it is around 7,000 to 10,000 rubles on the flea market. I've seen it as high as 11,000, so it does fluctuate. Just keep that in mind. Then we're going to add the SR2M sound suppressor for 25,506 rubles from Prepper level 3. On the flea market, though, it is around 30,000 rubles so you are paying around 5k extra it is what it is and to finish it off we're gonna add the kpsr2 reflex site for 13,625 rubles from proper level 2 now this is completely optional if you want you can go the other route and add the zeni p17 mount for 4,485 rubles and then add whatever optional site you want you know it's completely personal preference and the price will obviously vary depending on what you put on it but i think the kp sr2 reflex site is perfect for this and honestly i don't really see a reason to pay extra to put on a different site but obviously do whatever you want to do and this build right here costs roughly around seventy-eight thousand rubles slightly under it which i think is a very very good price if you ask me but let's move on to the ammunition now you have quite a few options when it comes to ammunition. The two I'm going to point out are both available on the flea market, but they are on a little bit higher level traders. The first one is the 7U4, which is 298 rubles per bullet from proper level 3, or 350 rubles per bullet if you have to buy from the flea market. And the next one is the 7N42, it is 859 rubles per bullet from proper level 4, or 950 rubles per bullet on the flea market. Now I know it's not really in the budget category, obviously, 950 rubles per bullet is a lot of money but it's obviously completely up to you you know if you can spend the money i would obviously go with the full mag of 7m42 Next up, we have the OP SKS from Mechanic Level 2 for around 60,000 rubles. This gun is perfect if you like to bring destruction from a distance. It works perfectly for both PvP and PvE. If you enjoy farming rogues, then this might be a good option for you. But if you enjoy splitting brain cells of other PMCs, then this is definitely a good option for you. Now you may be wondering why the hell am I paying 60,000 rubles for an OPS kiss? It is a mechanic level 2 barter for 3 weapon parts and it is a fairly decently built SKS already but we are gonna have to tweak it a little bit to make it even better. And the first tweak is gonna be the SKS weapon tuning thread adapter for 1,943 rubles from Jaeger level 2. This allows us to add the TTK1 muzzle brake compensator for 4,865 rubles. Now obviously if you want you can go suppressed as well but generally suppressors are 10 times more expensive so it is completely up to you if you want to go that route 
But moving on to the tactical device, this is also personal preference. We're gonna go with the Balder Pro tactical flashlight with a laser for 9,483 rubles from skier level 2. Now, if you want to save a little bit of money, you can obviously completely leave this out and leave it blank. If you want, you can go with just the laser, obviously, completely up to you. If you want to save a little bit more money and maybe put it somewhere else. But what I wouldn't save money on is a magazine. Now, I would go with a 20 rounder magazine for 68 US dollars from Peacekeeper level 1. And actually, I would go with two of these because even though S SKS can be top loaded. If you get into a fight with someone, it is much better for you to reload the whole mag than go and top load it one by one. So highly recommend go with two 20 round mags. And to finish up the build, we do need a sight. We're gonna go with the OP SKS dovetail mount for 6,318 rubles from Jaeger level one which allows us to add the Pilad dovetail mount for 5,374 rubles, which comes from Jaeger level 2. And now it is completely personal preference once again. But for the video, I've gone with the Elkan Spectre DR 4x scope for 279 US dollars from Peacekeeper level 3. It is around 40,000 rubles on the flea market, so you are going to end up paying a little bit extra if you do not have Peacekeeper level 3. But like I said, it is completely personal preference. If you want, you can go with a holographic sight on it. You know, do whatever you like. Total cost of this build is 120. 38,298 rubles which I would say is a fairly decent price for what you're getting and just like every other gun we need some bullets I've gone with two options one cheaper option and one more expensive option obviously for a cheaper one we've gone with the 762 by 39 PS rounds for 262 rubles per bullet from proper level 3 once you've completed Punisher part 1 if you do not have access to that it is 300 rubles roughly per bullet from the flea market and the more expensive option is the 762 by 39 PP round, which is 774 rubles per bullet. It comes from proper level 4, unfortunately, but it is available on the flea market for 1,000 per bullet. Now, I know it's a lot of money, but you don't have to bring 80 rounds of PP into the raid. You can bring the first initial mag of PP and then rest the extra mag and the extra bullets. You can bring PS if you want to save a little bit of money. Our third and final build is the AK-101 for around 40,000 rubles from the flea market. This is much cheaper than the other 5.56 counterparts like the M4 and HK, but it gets the job done just as well, and you save a few rubles in the process. And the first change to this build is gonna be the Tapco Saw Style Pistol Grip for 4,950 rubles from Mechanic Level 2. After that, we're gonna move on to the stock. We're gonna change to the Zenit PT Lock for 3,120 rubles from Skier Level 2. This allows us to add the Zenit PT-1 Classica stock for 13,522 rubles, also from Skier Level 2. If you want to make the recoil even better, you can add the GP25 Accessory Kit Recoil Pad for 4,051 rubles from Proper Level 2 after you've completed Gunsmith Part 6. But it is also available from the flea market. And we are going to change to the Bastion Dust Cover as well for 6,325 rubles from Skier Level 1. Also remember to remove the front sight to be able to change the Dust Cover to Bastion. This allows us to add the MRS Reflex Sight for 13,800 rubles from Skier Level 1 as well. Obviously, I have gone with the most basic sight possible for this build, but it is completely personal preference. And then we're going to move on to the handguard. We're going to go with the AK-100 series polymer handguard for 1,441 rubles from proper level 1, and you unlock it after you've completed Gunsmith Part 2. This allows us to add a foregrip. I've gone with the Tango Down foregrip for 4,745 rubles from skier level 2. And for the tactical device this time, I've gone with the Surefire X400 Ultra Tactical Flashlight with a laser for 95 US dollars from Peacekeeper level 2, and it is generally Generally a little bit cheaper on the flea market as well. And finally for the muzzle device I've gone with the RRD 4C multi-caliber muzzle brake for 11,800 rubles from mechanic level 3 
from the flea market it is around 15,000 rubles though so it is roughly around the same price and it is much better than the ttk that we've usually used for these kind of builds and the way this build is right now i know it doesn't look like the greatest thing ever but it is fairly cheap and fairly effective the total cost of this is 112,529 rubles and finally to end the video obviously we're gonna have to go take a look at the ammunition as well now when it comes to the ammunition there's really only two bullets that make sense to me first one is the 556 by 45 millimeter m855 which is two us dollars per bullet from peacekeeper level three or 300 rubles per bullet from the flea market if you're willing to pay a little bit extra and when i say a little bit i mean a lot you can go with the 556 by 45 millimeter m856 a1 which is four us dollars per bullet from peacekeeper level four but that would mean you have to be level 37 and i'm sure most of you aren't there because you have life outside of the game alternatively you could buy it from the flea market for 1300 rubles per Per bullet i know it's very expensive but like i've said before you do not have to bring three four mags of the most expensive ammo and build magazine presets as well you could do like 10 bullets of m855 five bullets of m856a1 and then 10 bullets of m855 and so on like build your own mag presets and you will save a lot of money and still have a little bit of kick in your mags as well and finally, we have arrived at the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you got at least something useful out of it. Thank you again, and I will catch you in the next one, my friends. Take care.